Taxes, the one issue that affects every single voter in some way because there is no escaping them. But Matt, the candidates certainly do not agree on what to do about taxes. Now, Donald Trump, he'd like to cut them across the board. Households earning $225,000 and above would see their rate drop from 39 to 33 percent. And he also wants to eliminate the estate tax. Secretary Clinton, frankly, wants the exact opposite. She wants to raise taxes on the wealthy. She says the rich should pay their fair share. To do that, she's calling on a 4% fair share surcharge on multimillionaires. This would affect the top 0.02% of taxpayers. She says that we also have to close loopholes used by the rich, she says, to avoid paying taxes. And both candidates, Matt, have pushed plans they say would benefit the middle class. They have. But devil is in the details. She says that working families would find relief with this menu of initiatives. The first being a debt-free public college tuition, then a new refundable tax credit for families that are struggling with substantial out-of-pocket health care costs, and also expanding the child care tax credits. And Matt, Trump said he also likes the idea of tax credits, and he too would like to expand them for child and elder care. He also wants to lower tax rates for the middle and lower class, and also reduce the number of tax brackets down from seven to three. And both candidates say they have a plan for small businesses, which are responsible for employing nearly two out of every three workers in the U.S. Trump wants to focus on businesses as well, Matt, and he says he would actually cut the corporate rate down from 35 percent to 15 percent. And Clinton wants to help small businesses, especially those with 50 or fewer employees, by simplifying and expanding the health care tax credit. This is so employers can provide more employees with health care. Both candidates also differ on the minimum wage. She says she supports a $15 an hour minimum wage. But Matt, he said the minimum wage should be left to the states. Some are more expensive to live in than others. And Trump also favors the traditional role, really, that Republicans have taken, lower taxes, less federal government. And Clinton's <laughs> taking the traditionally Democratic stance with relying on more taxes on the wealthy to fund all plans, except both economists for both plans say that the deficit will still be a big yeah. problem for either plan going forward. Sure. For Commitment 2016, I'm Matt Barcaro. And I'm Barbara Barr, News 8.